In this video, we're going to learn how to use git pull when working with git repositories. You're watching Automate Now, I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. And here we have a repo on GitHub. This is called test repo. This test repo contains two files, a git ignore and a readme file. I have cloned this repo to my local machine. And as you can see, it's down here. It also contains the two files down here. On the right hand side, I went ahead and opened this repo on source tree. And right now everything is up to date, meaning that the changes that I have in my local match the changes that are on the remote. Now let's just say that we have two developers. In this case, I'm developer one, and I'm working on the same code as somebody else. And let's say that developer two went ahead and made some changes to this repo. So we're going to mimic that right now. We're going to go to GitHub right here, and we're going to say add file. And then we're going to say create new file. We're going to name this file developer2.txt. And then we're going to add some text right here. Then we're going to scroll down and we're going to enter a comment here. Lastly, we're going to click commit new file. And now we can see that GitHub contains this new file that we just added developer2.txt. But those changes are not reflected in my local branch. So currently I have checked out the main branch right here on source tree. And in order for me to grab those changes from the remote branch and put them into my local branch, I need to do a pull. And what a git pull does is that it's going to do two things. First, it's going to fetch for any changes, and then it's going to merge those changes into my local branch. Let's go ahead and click pull right now. And the first thing we see here is pull from remote. In this case, I want to select origin. This is the only option available. And then it says remote branch to pull. In this case, we only have one option. Notice that on GitHub right here, we're going to see the branch that we're working with. This is the main branch. So if you had another branch that said something like master, then you would see that over here. Lastly, we're going to leave this default check mark right here and click pull. And notice what happened after that command executed. We see that the new file was automatically added to our local branch right here. Now we see developer2.txt added to our local branch. If I open this file here, I'm going to see the same text that I added on the remote branch. So both the local branch and the remote branch are now in sync. So just to summarize, git pull is two commands in one. It does a fetch to check for any changes on the remote branch, and then it does a merge to merge any changes that it finds in the remote branch and merge those into the local branch. Thank you for watching Automate Now. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video. I'll see you in the next video.